Let's talk a little bit about document layout and margins and columns. Currently I have my newspaper document open, pages two and three spread as fit into the window. I have a five column layout on both sides. There are some master elements across the top. Eventually what I'm going to do is replicate the article that's been laid out on the left hand side on the right hand side of the page using a different number of columns. The document itself has 12 pages with three different masters. I can change that by selecting File, Document, Setup. I can add pages easily by just typing in a higher number. I now have a 16 page document. I can see that here as well if I take a look at the pages palette scrolling down I have added pages 13, 14, 15 and 16. If you wish to remove pages you can do the same thing reducing the number it will prompt you to remove pages that have content on them for example if I remove pages 2 and up it will tell me that there is content and I have to select yes in order to remove it. Guidelines are ways to line up elements that are on the page. Guidelines are baby blue in color and I get them by clicking on a ruler and dragging down into the document. I can set my document so that elements snap to those guidelines under the view menu, grids and guides, and then snap to guides. Clicking once in the ruler and dragging a guideline down, I can click on a guideline and change its placement on the page up here. For example, if I want it to be exactly on a pica line, I can change that to 35, press enter. It says 35 pica zero. If I want the guideline to go across both pages, when I click, I hold the control button down and when I drag that guideline into the document it is across both pages. I have horizontal guidelines which I've shown you now. I can also have vertical guidelines. We will use these guidelines in future examples to demonstrate how to line things up. If you want to get rid of your guidelines you can select them one at a time or you can enclose them in a box and press the delete button and they disappear. So I can multiple select, delete them. The number of columns can be found under the layout menu, margins and columns. Both sides now have five columns. I can change the number of columns. One column, two columns, three columns, four, or back to the original five columns. As soon as I'm click OK. If the columns are not locked, I can move one of the column guidelines over. If I don't want to allow people to do that, Control Z to undo, under View, Grids and Guides, I want to lock my column guides. Now I am not able to adjust the column guides.